Unit 16. A change for the better. Better, American. British, better. A change for the better. 1. Snapshot. Look at the picture here. What do you see? Different things. Things that bring about change in our lives. Things that change our lives. What are the things that change our lives? Change schools. When we change school, this is a big change for our life. When I change schools, this is a big change in my life. Turn 18. If you are 18 years old, you can vote. You can drive a car in the USA. Study abroad. Study in a foreign country. Study in a foreign country. You travel to the USA, Australia, Canada. Big change. Get a, get a driver's license. Get a driver's license. You can drive a car. You can work as driver. Big change. Graduate. Graduate from school. You finished high school. In the USA, you finish high school, you can work. You can go to work. Most of students don't join the university. They join high school and then they can work in factory or in a supermarket. They can start their own lives. Get a part-time job. You get a part-time job. It means a job for two, three, four hours. This is part-time, not full-time. After the student finishes his school, he goes to work in a restaurant in McDonald's. He works a part-time job, three, four hours. If you work a part-time job, you get, you get some money. You are independent. You don't need to take money from your mom or your dad. Fall in love. Move to new city. Move to new city. This is you travel from one city to another city and live there. If you are living in Cairo and you move to Aswan, big change. If you are living in Suhag and you came to Cairo, this is a big change in your life. The life of the city is different than the life of the country, the villages. Get married. Big change. You have responsibility. You have a wife. Have children. You are a father or a mother. You are a parent now. This is big change. You have more responsibilities. Which of these events are important change which are small changes? Most of these changes are important changes. Have any of these things happened to you recently? Have anything like this happened to you? A lot of things happened to me. What other things bring about change in our lives? What other things can change our lives? In Egypt, in Saudi Arabia, going to Dream Park, Going to amusement park, big change. Have a, when you have a flat, apartment, a villa, a house, this is a big change in your life. When I have a, my beach house, this is a big change, beach house. Graduation, this is a big change. When you finish your university or college, you have to work. You will get a new job, big change in your life. Get a new job, work in a new career, big change. Picture number two, exercise number two. Look at the picture. What do you see? Yes. Look at the picture here and Tell the class or your friends what do you see. We see what? Two young ladies. 
One of them is wearing a ring. What's a ring for? What does a ring mean? The ring means this young lady is engaged or married. The second one, she's not wearing a ring. That means she's not married and she's not engaged. She has short hair. Her hair is short. This one, she has medium hair, medium length hair. This is medium average. Maybe she was shopping because she had a bag. Let's start to listen. Conversation. Catching up. A. Listen and practice. A change for the better. Page 106. Exercise 2. Conversation. Catching up. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Pretty good, thanks. Are you still in school? No, not anymore. I graduated last year. And I got a job at Mid-State Bank. That's great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. And I wear contacts now. Oh, and I've lost weight. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks, so do you. And there's one more thing. Look, I got engaged. Congratulations! Unit 16. A change for the better. Page 106. Exercise 2. Conversation. Catching up. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Pretty good, thanks. Are you still in school? No, not anymore. I graduated last year. And I got a job at Mid-State Bank. That's great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. And I wear contacts now. Oh, and I've lost weight. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks, so do you. And there's one more thing. Look, I got engaged. Congratulations. Conversation catching up. Let's read. Listen and practice. Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in ages. In ages, I haven't seen you for a long time. How have you been? How have you been? This is informal. Like, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, very good, pretty, very. Are you still in school? No, not anymore. Not anymore. T soft D. I graduated. I gradu I graduated last year. And I got a T soft D between A and O. In American, O is A. I got, I got a, I got a job. I got a job at Minnesota State Bank. That's the great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. Shorter. T soft D. It's shorter. And I wear contacts. Cantus? Contact lenses. And I've lost weight. I've. I have. I've. I've lost weight. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks. So do you. And there is one more thing. Look, I got engaged. T of D. O S A. I got engaged. Congratulations. So, which one is scary? Which one is Diane? This is scary because she got engaged. And this is Diane. Diane, scary. Scary? Yes, it's the young lady who's wearing a ring. 
Are Carrie and Diane friends? Yes, they are. They are close friends. How is Carrie? Carrie is pretty good. Is Carrie still in school? No, she graduated last year. Where is Carrie working? Carrie, she got a job at Mid State Bank. She got a job at Mid State Bank. How has Carrie changed? Her hair is shorter now. She wear contacts. Contacts. She was wearing glasses, but now she's wearing contacts. Contacts. Contact lenses. She lost weight. And she got engaged. So what are the changes in Carrie's life? She got engaged. She's lost weight. She wears contacts. Her hair is shorter now. Also, she graduated last year, and she works in Mid State Bank. She got a job. She graduated and she got a job. Number B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How has Diane changed it? What about Diane? How has Diane changed it? Let's listen. Page 106, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How has Diane changed? So, tell me, Diane, what have you been up to? Well, let's see. I've changed jobs. Really? You don't work at the hospital anymore? No, I left last year. I'm still a nurse, but I work in a private clinic. My job is less stressful now. Do you still live downtown? Oh, no. I moved to a new place. I'm in the suburbs now. I live in Parkview, just outside the city. Parkview? That's where I live. That means we're neighbors. Listen again. Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How has Diane changed? So, tell me, Diane. What have you been up to? Well, let's see. I've changed jobs. Really? You don't work at the hospital anymore? No, I left last year. I'm still a nurse, but I work in a private clinic. My job is less stressful now. Do you still live downtown? Oh, no. I moved to a new place. I'm in the suburbs now. I live in Parkview, just outside the city. Parkview? That's where I live. That means we're neighbors. How has Diane changed it? Diane changed jobs. She works now in a private clinic. Her job is less stressful. In the past, she was working in the hospital. She was living downtown, but now she moved to the suburbs. The suburbs, areas outside the city. She's living in Parkview. Carrie is also living in Parkview, so Diane and Carrie are living in Parkview. They are neighbors. They are living in the same area. Again, the answer, Diane changed jobs, works now in a private clinic, and moved to the suburbs. She moved to Parkview. Exercise number three, Grammar Focus. Grammar Focus, look at the picture here. Describing, ch describing changes. Describing changes. Look at the picture, what do you see? A young man. And maybe he's looking in the mirror. So... He sees himself after 10 years, maybe. He's wearing backward cap, t-shirt, jeans, sneakers, trainers. In the mirror, another person wearing glasses, 
shirt, a shirt, pants, pants, trousers. He has a box, a bag. He's wearing here, he's wearing what? Classic. His style is classic. This one, cool and casual. His backward cap and his hairstyle has long hair. But that one he has short hair. So, exercise number three. Listen. Page 107. Exercise three. Grammar focus. Describing changes. With the present tense. I'm not in school anymore. I wear contacts now. With the past tense. I got engaged. I moved to a new place. With the present perfect. I've lost weight. I've changed jobs. With the comparative. My hair is shorter now. My job is less stressful. Describe changes, we can use different tenses. The present tense, I am not in school anymore, so now I am not in school. I wear contacts now, now I wear contacts. So here, he says now, it's written now, and he used the present simple. I wear contacts now, I am not wearing glasses. I. I don't wear glasses, I am wearing contacts now with the past tense. I got engaged. T of D. I got it. I got engaged. I moved to new place. I moved. So here Eddie, I moved. I moved to new place. I moved to new place. I got engaged. The past tense subject verb plus D E D I E D The present he she at verb plus S E S I E S with the present perfect the present perfect has have plus P P I've lost weight I've changed jobs I've lost weight I've changed jobs the present perfect has have plus PP, past participle. With the comparative. Comparative, here you compare now and the past. My hair is shorter now, so you said ER then, it means what? My hair is shorter, my hair now is shorter than before, than in the past. My job is less stressful, less more my job is more relaxing than before my job is less stressful than before but here we make it short say my job is less stressful the sentence my job is less stressful than before my hair is shorter than now than before so to describe a change you can use the present perfect the simple past the present and the comparison to compare now, comparison to compare now and before. Of course, here we said in the comparative adjective er then. Or if I have adjective that has two or three syllables, an adjective which is more than six letters. An adjective that has two vowels, separate vowels. We're going to write more, less, adjective, than. Like my job is less stressful. Stressful. Nine letters. Stressful. Two vowels. E and U. So, I can use less or more. Plus adjective, than. A. 
How have you changed in the, in the last five years? Check through the statements that are true for you. If a statement is not true, give the correct information. Here, here is the sentence. If this happened to you, make true. Check true. One, I've changed my hairstyle. True. I dress differently now. In the past, I used to wear casual clothes, t-shirt, shorts, slippers, sneakers. Now, I dress formal. I dress formal clothes. I, I wear classic clothes. My style is classic. I've lost weight. No, I've gained weight. I moved into my own apartment. I moved to a new flat. Apartment, a flat, a house, a new house. Apartment, flat. So I moved into my own flat. I got married. British, got. American, got. I got married. I am more outgoing than before. Outgoing, sociable. I am more sociable than before. I don't go to many parties anymore. I don't. T. Silent. I don't. I don't. I don't go. T. Silent in American. I don't go. I don't go to. I don't go to many parties anymore. My life. My life is easier now. True. Thanks God. My life is easier now. My life is easier now than before. My life is easier now than before. Now my life is easier than the past. Than in the past. C. Group work. Write five sentences describing other changes in your life. Then comparing groups, who in the group has changed the most? Here, you should write different sentences. You can use the present tense, the past, the present perfect, the comparative. Example, I became rich. I am rich now. I gained weight. I am fat. I am heavy. I am heavy, fat. I am not slim. I was slim. I changed my hairstyle. I became bold. Bold, I don't have hair. I became bold. I am wearing casual. I am wearing casual clothes. I am wearing cool and casual clothes. I wear cool and casual clothes. I wear a t-shirt and jeans. I will change jobs. I'm a supervisor now. I was a translator. Translator? American, British? Translator. Translator? I was a translator. Now I'm a teacher. Now I'm an English instructor. Exercise number four. In exercise number four, listening, memory lane. In this exercise, Lane and Scott are looking through a photo album. A photo album, this, they're gonna remember their memories. How have they changed? Write down three changes. Listen, you will listen two times, take notes.
Page 107. Exercise 4. Listening. Memory Lane. Linda and Scott are looking through a photo album. Listen to their conversation. How have they changed? Write down three changes. What are you looking at, Scott? Oh, just one of our photo albums. Oh, look! It's our wedding picture. Yeah. Just think, we'll be celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary this month. Yeah, and I remember we didn't get along so well when we first met. But a year later, we fell in love and got married. And here's the picture of our honeymoon. Wow, we sure look different now, don't we? Yes, my hair is much shorter now. And you've gained a little weight. You were always too thin. Oh, and look, here's a picture of the day we brought Maggie home from the hospital. She's so cute. And now we have two kids. Who would have guessed? Yeah, we're just lucky that they look like me. Listen again. Page 107. Exercise 4. How have they changed? Write down three changes. What are you looking at, Scott? Oh, just one of our photo albums. Oh, look! It's our wedding picture. Yeah. Just think, we'll be celebrating our fifth wedding anniversary this month. Yeah, and I remember we didn't get along so well when we first met. But a year later, we fell in love and got married. And here's the picture of our honeymoon. Wow, we sure look different now, don't we? Yes, my hair is much shorter now. And you've gained a little weight. You were always too thin. Oh, and look, here's a picture of the day we brought Maggie home from the hospital. She's so cute. And now we have two kids. Who would have guessed? Yeah, we're just lucky that they look like me. First change. One, they didn't get along when they first met. They didn't get along when they first met. They didn't like each other. Two. They're married now. Now they are married. They're married now. Linda's hair is shorter. Linda's hair is shorter. Scott. Scott has gained weight. Scott has gained weight. They didn't get along when they first met. They're married now. Linda's hair is shorter. Scott has gained weight. They have two kids. Kids, children. Exercise number five. Word power. In this exercise, you complete the word map with phrases from the left then add two more examples to each category or to each category category British American category to each section so here we have changes money scales appearance in this exercise we have different words different phrases you write every phrase in the section like dye my hair this is appearance Appearance, shape, appearance, shape, scale or money, gain weight, get a bank loan, to, to get a loan from the bank, get a credit card, grow a beard, beard, hair that grows on the face, improve my English vocabulary, vocabulary, Vocab, vocab. Learn a new sport. Learn how to dance. Open a savings account. Start a new hobby. Start a new hobby. Hobby, American, British, hobby. Wear contact lenses. Lenses, Z. Win the lottery. This is an America. This is like lucky number. You have a ticket for the lucky number. You can win one million dollars. One minute, try to answer. Appearance. 
Dye my hair. Dye my hair. You change the color of the hair. Dye my hair. Grow a beard. Grow a beard. What sound? Grow wa wa. Grow a beard. Gain weight. Gain weight. Wear contact lenses. Wear contact lenses. Money. Get a bank loan. Get a bank loan. Get a credit card. Get a credit card. Open savings account. Open savings account. Win the lottery. Win the lottery. Skills. Improve my English vocab. Improve my English vocabulary. Learn a new sport. Learn a new sport. Learn how to dance. Learn how to dance. Start a new hobby. Start a new hobby. B. Pair work. Have you changed any of these areas? Tell your partner. Tell your friend. Tell your partner about the change in each category. A change. In each section, a change in every part, a change in money, scale, appearance. Example, A and B. A. I opened the savings account last year. I've already saved five hundred dollars. I opened the savings account last year. I've already saved five hundred dollars. B. I got my first credit card last month. American got. I got my first credit card last month. Can I borrow some money? Examples. I learned a new sport. I learned how to play tennis. I liked it a lot. I wear contact lenses now. I don't wear glasses anymore. I didn't gain weight. I lost weight. I became thin and slim. I dyed my hair. I didn't win the lottery, but I hope to be rich. I get a credit card. Exercise number six: Conversation, planning your future. Look at the picture here. What do you see? Young men, young ladies. They are having what? Certificates. They are having certificates. They are wearing gowns. Professors, maybe they are in the university. What's this? It's a graduation party. Graduation party. They're wearing glasses, ties. This is a tie, a shirt, a tie. She's wearing earrings. This is an earring, an earring, two earrings, necklace. Conversation. Planning your future. Page one hundred eight. Exercise six. Conversation. 
Planning your future. Part A. Listen and practice. So what are you going to do after graduation, Susan? Well, I've saved some money and I think I'd really like to travel. Lucky you. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Then I plan to get a job and my own apartment. Oh, you're not going to live at home? No, I don't want to live with my parents. Not after I start to work. I know what you mean. What about you, Alex? Any plans yet? I'm going to get a job and live at home. I'm broke and I want to pay off my student loan. Page 108. Exercise 6. Conversation. Planning your future. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. This conversation is between Alex and Susan. Alex. So, what are T of D? What are? What are you gonna do after graduation, Susan? Going to Ghana. Going to Ghana. What are you gonna do after graduation, Susan? Well, I've saved some money. And I think I'd really like to travel. I'd. I would. I'd like to travel. I want to travel. Lucky you. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Then, yeah, yes. Then I plan to get a job and my own apartment. Oh, you're not going to live at home? No, I don't want to live with my parents. Parents, father and mother, mom and dad. Not after, Tisafti. Not after we start to work. I know what you mean. What about you? What a Tisafti. What about? Stress on the bath sound. What about? What about you? What about you, Alex? Any plans yet? I'm gonna get a job. Get a job, get a job. I'm gonna get a job. I live at home. I'm gonna get a job and live at home. I'm broke. I'm broke. I don't have any money. And I wanna pay off my student loan. The student loan. The student take a loan from the bank. Then after graduation, the student start to work and pay back the money for the bank. First question, what's Susan going to do after graduation? Susan, she'd like to travel. She's, she's, she has saved some money and she'd like to travel. That sounds exciting, exciting, interesting. So number one, Susan, Susan, Susan would like to travel. She plans to get a job and her own apartment, apartment flat. So she'd like to travel. She plans to get a job. She plans to have her own apartment, her own flat. She's not going to live with her mom and dad. She's not going to live at home. What about Alex? What is Alex going to do after graduation? Alex is going to get a job and live at home. He's going to live with his mom and dad. He's going to live with his parents. Because he's broke. He doesn't have money. And he wants to pay off his student loan. He wants to pay off his student loan. He wants to pay off his student loan. Exercise number six. Part B. In part B, you listen to the rest of the conversation and you answer the questions. What kind of job does Alex want? Where would Susan like to travel? You listen two times. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What kind of job does Alex want? Where would Susan like to travel? What kind of job are you looking for? Well, I've thought a lot about it, and I'd like to do computer programming. So I hope to get a job with a big computer company. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, 
I've got an interview next week. Well, good luck. And where do you plan to travel to, Susan? Well, I'd like to travel around the United States a bit. There are so many places that I've never seen. Well, please send me a lot of postcards while you're away. All right, I will. And I hope you get the job. Me too. Where would Susan like to travel? What kind of job are you looking for? Well, I've thought a lot about it, and I'd like to do computer programming. So I hope to get a job with a big computer company. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, I've got an interview next week. Well, good luck. And where do you plan to travel to, Susan? Well, I'd like to travel around the United States a bit. There are so many places that I've never seen. Well, please send me a lot of postcards while you're away. All right, I will. And I hope you get the job. Me too. Alex wants a job as a computer programmer with a big computer company. Susan wants to travel around the USA. Alex has got an interview, so he wants a job as a computer as a computer programmer with a, with a big computer company. Susan wants to travel around the USA because there are different places she didn't see them. She'd like to see new places in the USA in different states. Unit 16, a change for the better. Page 106. One, the words in exercise one. The kalimat in the exercise one, exercise two, exercise four. One, abroad, in a foreign country. Driver's license, a document to drive a car. Graduate, complete your studies. Part-time, opposite. Full time, part time, full time. Move to new city. Move to new house. She turned 18 last year. She turned 18 last year. Two, contacts. Con, British, contacts. American, contacts. Contact lenses. Contact lenses. Context short, short word, abbreviated word for contact lenses. Got, American, got. Engage, got engage, T soft D between O and E. Got engage, agreed to marry someone. Got engage, agreed to marry someone. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Been British, American, Ben. What have you been up to? Informal. What have you been up to? Informal. This is informal. It means for speaking. Suburbs. Suburbs are scared. Suburbs are scared. Four. Photo. Photo album. A book for collecting photographs. Honeymoon. Holiday after marriage. Wedding anniversary. Get along. Be friendly. Five. Five. Die. Died. Died. To change the color. Six. Graduation. The ceremony at which a person completed a course of studying. The ceremony at which a person completed a course of studying. I'm broke. I don't have any money. I'm broke. I don't have any money. Pay off. Pay off. Make the final payment for something. Pay off. Make the final payment for something. 
student loan student loan money given to student but it must be paid back after graduation student loan money given to student but it must be paid back after graduation workbook let's take the workbook workbook unit 16 outgoing outgoing sashable British outgoing Amer sociable outgoing sociable American outgoing sociable Portuguese related to Portugal related to Portugal Latin America Latin America Portugal Welcome Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.